Man, I just finished up a six and a half hour stream. I was playing in the ESL qualifier for the summer circuit, which by the way, I qualified for Sunday, meaning that I played really well in Saturday's games. So if you're watching this video, there's a chance I'm live on Twitch playing in some competitive MLB The Show games right now. So feel free to head on over to the Twitch channel. If I'm not live, I probably got bounced in the first round. Which is very likely. But anyway, while we were streaming in between those ESL games, we did finish up the sixth inning program. We got 300 stars and we chose one of the three bosses. And as you guys can tell by the title of the video, I went with Stan Musial. I was fully planning on going with Greg Maddox before we saw the attributes of the cards, just because I figured Greg Maddox would be uh, pretty good. But the velo on Greg Maddox doesn't excite me. I'm still going to give him a shot, just like I'll give any other card a shot. But for right now, I wanted to take a hitter, and I decided to go with Stan the Man. Now, off the bat, obviously, he's not going to have the best fielding. 72 fielding with 73 arm and 47 speed. He doesn't fit in the outfield for me, and he probably doesn't fit in the outfield for a lot of other teams based off the other guys that we can use with good defense and speed. But luckily, he does have have first base as a secondary position and if you look at those hitting stats this is one of the best hitting first baseman you can get so we will be playing him over at first base today he is going to be batting third in the lineup i also finally finished the prestige program for gary sheffield so his 99 now turns in to that red 99 he gets 124 power versus lefties so he's gonna be playing at third and the other day i did actually pull the new headliner 96 overall jd martinez on stream Hi, JD. So, of course, we got to give him a go as well. And the plan is simple. We're just going to go ahead and get Stan Musial. We're going to sell Stan Musial after his debut, and we're going to go ahead and pick up probably Jimmy Rollins, give Jimmy Rollins a go, sell Jimmy, pick up Greg, and then either hold on to Greg or sell him to get back one of the two or just get stubs. I don't know, whatever it is. So, down in the comments of this video, I'm curious, who are you guys taking in the sixth inning program? Out of the three bosses, Maddox, Rollins, or Stan, who is your pick and why? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. Guys, I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay with Stan usual if you do hit that thumbs up button i'd really appreciate that make sure to subscribe to the channel to keep up with the rest of these videos enjoy the gameplay face an oral hersheiser this guy says the reds will win the world series i mean anything could happen in a 60 game season i've been using cole hamels all day in esl so this is just gonna be like the same thing also does anybody know this guy's rating do we know if he's world series or hall of fame or, or uh, championship here we go JD Martinez, you gotta make the play, blood out of boy. Oh, this is UG, you're 914? Alright, so this is on Legend. Cool. Thank you, man. Nice. Two down, two down, just like that. Nice pitch. One, two, three for Cole Hamels. Gotta be ready for these Legend pitch speeds. Is that gonna get through there? Oh my god, Chipper actually got it, and he threw me out. Wow. I thought that was for sure getting through the middle. First at bat with Prestige Gary. Well, first at bat with Prestige Gary and Ranked. I used him in the event. And he's going to hit a ground ball as well. So nobody on with two outs for Stan Musial. Been using him in the event. Got a nice little 571 average going. Stan. Oh, dude, we crushed that too. That sucks. Well, we go one, two, three, but I think we put some better swings on the ball than he did. Ah, that was a late swing, wasn't it? Come on, JD. Don't cost me out and left. Oh, God. Very late. Ew. Fly ball to center. We got that. Come on. Double play away from getting out of the inning. This is a dangerous spot right here. Chipper. I know exactly what I want to throw right here. Please execute it well. Bro, I had him. Nice play, Sheffield. Love. Love that reaction time. boy. George Springer in for Reggie. So he's used one, one bench bat. Ooh, that's staying in the yard. We got lucky on that. No way he gets the third, right? Yep. Now the pitcher spot comes up with two outs here. Oh, wait, no, it's Buster Posey. Well, I'm not pitching to Posey. I mean, that's a pretty easy choice here with a base open. And he's going to get a hit. Are you friggin' kidding me right now? 
Get him at home. Get him at home. Nice throw, Mantle. At least he only got one. He actually got a hit with friggin' Oral Hershiser to give him the lead. Love to see it. There it is. Woo! Robbie Cano. Tracked the change up to the bottom of the zone. We sent that all the way to the beach. That should get down, right? Yep, Kevin Bad with a knock. Larry Walker, that's three straight hits, and with 70 speed, it looks like that's going to score him. Yeah, this is going to be easy. Is Larry going to get a triple on this? No, we're going to stay at two, but we get that run. We're in the lead, boys. I just realized his created player is named Barry Bonds' Roids Dealer. Okay. Nice pitch. Cole Hamill's dirty. Nice, two down. Nice play, Stan. Atta boy. Okay, top of the order again. We got Stan due up third here. He's 0 for 1, but he did hit the ball hard. Nice hit, Mickey. Let's go. I'm actually seeing Hershiser fairly well right now for the most part. Hershiser usually can be tough, too. Going first pitch. I should be in there with 95 speed. Come on. Wow. How do you... Oh, come on, dude. How do you get hosed right there with 95 speed? Oh, my God. How does he get thrown out right there, dude? Come on, Stan. I need to get a big hit from you in your debut, please. Stan the man. A hanging changeup with a good timing swing in the middle. PCI is just a nice, easy fly ball to center. Awesome. Robbie Cano again? Dude, Cano can't miss right now. Second home run of the game. Cano is so good on legend. I should have crushed that. I should have hit that way harder than I did. That sucks. Larry Walker up the middle. Man, I am I know these pitches aren't the most difficult pitches to hit because they're kind of over the middle, but even the ones towards the outer part of the plate I'm seeing well right now. Ah. I was there, dude. I was there. I was on it. Let's keep it going, Hamill. Let's keep the good game going right now. Okay, I know, I know what I want to do. I know what I want to do. I just got to hit this spot. Don't want to let a leadoff walk in on here. Good pitch. Got him, dude. I set that up perfectly with that fastball on the pitch before. He's attacking this hitter a lot more aggressively than he did the first time when he faced him and issued a walk. Coming right after <laughs> did you hear Dan Plesak right there? He's like, he's facing this guy a lot more aggressively than he did in the first time around. I intentionally walked it. Of course I'm facing him more aggressively. I put him on. Come on, pop it up. Good bunt, good bunt. Still got two outs. Keep him at second. Uh, he shouldn't get a run on this, but the go-ahead run is now at the plate. Who's up next? Larry Walker. Okay. That's a bad pitch. Looks like we're getting away with the... Come on, JD! Hey! Woo. We got away with one to Larry. Is Stan going to make the play? Stan in the dugout. Look at him at first base, chat. Stan the man making the web gem. Love it. And now he leads off the bottom of the sixth inning. Come on, Stan. I need a home run. Oh, you brought in Britain. It's all good. He's got reverse splits against lefties. He crushes them. Let's go. Dude, come on. I can't get it going with Stan right now. I'm 0 for 3. Even though that was just early, that was still a pretty good swing. Dang it. Ground ball. Boom. No, man. Enough of these friggin' weak hits. Get that double play. Let's go. Good stuff. Eight innings, one earned run for Cole Hamels. Um, I'm probably going to take him out just because we have a chance to add more here. So I'm going to go to Jim Tomey. Cole Hamels, one run through eight innings. All right, so he brought in... He brought in Billy, so we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go to Chris Bryant here against Billy Wagner. Oh my God, this is an at bat right here. Ten pitches, and we win the at bat. Ten pitch walk for Chris Bryant. Oh my God. It was right down the middle. I was sitting inside, so I didn't square it up. Come on, no double plays, Gary Sheffield. All we got to do is just not hit into a double play, and then we get Stan the man back up here. 
All right, it's gonna be off the end of the bat on an early swing. Stay in the man, two outs in the eighth. Come on, he's 0 for 3. He's facing a lefty too. He's got a hundred and some crazy power against the lefty. Oh, never mind, we're facing Mo. That was the perfect time to throw the change up. Ugh, 0 for 4 with Stan, yikes. All right, we'll start with Wagner. We'll start with Billy. Dude, JD got such a good read on that and he can't make, come on, get the ball. I need to make a defensive replacement, probably. I need to get JD out of there. Just because at least he's going to have better fielding than 60. Nice. He was sitting fastball. We froze him. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and walk Chipper right here, and then we're going to go ahead and go to Mo. Not facing Chipper with a lefty in this situation. We're going to go to Mo, and he's going to face a couple righties in a row. Cody Bellinger is in. Nice pitch. Set that up with a cutter. Come on. One more out. Let's finish it. All right, just make a good pitch. Got him looking. Let's go, Mo. Ice in his veins. We close the game out. We take the dub 3-1. to one. So Stan went 0 for 4. Although Stan hit the ball hard three times. Or two times. That one in the his second at bat, the, the hanging changeup, that one should have been crushed, honestly. That was a little, little unfortunate that that ball wasn't crushed, but I, I put a pretty good swing on it. But Robbie Cano had two home runs. Larry Walker had an RBI. Cole Hamels, man, I would put him as player of the game, honestly. Eight innings, only one earned run. Mo got the save. Let's go, baby.